hi everyone so we're gonna jump right into today's video because i'm gonna be showing you guys how to refresh your dirty rug and also in the process i'm also going to show you guys how to decorate your bedroom your bed to look luxurious guys oh my gosh i just love how everything came out you know when i was done with this um should i say project because i've been procrastinating cleaning our rug guys if you're used to like throwing out your dirty rug this video is definitely gonna be very very helpful so as you guys can see i went ahead to add up um different detergents of course i know it's not good to add different detergents but this ones are safe because as you guys can see i put some cleaning detergent cleaning vinegar fabric softener and then here i added up some downy just for you know that freshness and then i'm going to shake up 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 you know the whole detergent and then i'm going to put it inside my machine and of course this machine is from hover guys i've had this for years and guys when i mean like this right here it just turns your dirty old um rug into a brand new rug so basically as you guys can see i just went ahead and put it on and all you have to do is just to slowly walk you know around your rug so as you guys can see like i'm walking around the rug in sections and while i'm doing that i'm kind of pressing in the um, in the in the top of the machine there is a button there that you can just slowly press and when you press that you can see like water dispenses and while the water is dispensing the brush from the machine helps to scrub your rug so this rug it's been i believe the last time i washed this rug was um november last year so but i try as much as possible to clean my rug so that way like i try to clean my rug as frequent as possible so that it doesn't accumulate a lot of dirt you know but the last time i cleaned it was november was november um last year so november december december january february march so that's four months so my rug is pretty dirty you guys are going to see how dirty it is by the time i by the time i remove the 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 what is it called the cup you know that houses the dirty water you guys are going to scream but yeah basically i just go ahead from section to section just try to drag all look at that you guys can already see like the rug is already like looking you know like the whiteness the, the white from the rug is already like coming through meanwhile before it was kind of brown and dingy And of course, when you are working your machine, guys, it's going to be dispensing water, like I said, but it's not like a lot of water that is going to soak up, you know, your rug. All you basically need to do is to give your rug maybe 30 minutes at most one hour and then you're able to use it immediately because the water like is it, it doesn't produce a damp you know like it doesn't dampen your rug if, if if that's the right word guys but yeah it just gradually dispenses water and the water it dispenses is you know is um is enough to go ahead and scrub your rug so as you guys can see i would say this right here is the most trafficked area you know in our bedroom because that's like our bedroom entrance and it's always the dirtiest as you guys can see that side and this side this side is actually whiter because this is less traffic but look at that water look at the water guys i dragged out from our bedroom and of course if you want you, you can go ahead and also do a second you know a second clean it all depends on how dirty your rug is but yeah once i was done i went ahead and used my febreze my febreze um fabric spray to just freshen up the bedroom and you know i waited for like an hour and then i went ahead and made up the bed over here i'm adding up the pillow we're gonna go ahead and add up some um blankets and i'm gonna show you guys how to make your blankets look really really luxurious very very full i used to struggle with kind of a thin a thin looking um comforter you know not blankets comforter guys so basically what i do to make my comforter look very very plush and very very you know full and luxurious is to go ahead and use two 
yes guys two two comforters so as you guys can see i have this one that looks kind of a cute you know it's not it doesn't have a lot of feeling inside once i go ahead and put that on i'm gonna then go ahead and add up a second um comforter on top of the first one this is going to make it like like this is going to give it that very nice full luxurious look i hate it when i when i put on my comforter on my bed and it's just flat you know as you guys can see this particular um comforter right here it has more of the feeling what i mean by the feeling you know how like that thing i don't know if i should say uh, yeah, it's the feathers or whatever they used to fill in, you know, comfort as it has more of it. So I use two different, one less and then one more. And then I add the two together. And as you guys can see me doing here, I just go and fold, you know. As you guys can see, the the black, the, the comforter itself is already like full. But then when you go ahead and also fold them together, look at, look at that, look at that magic. But if I used um you know those comforters alone it wouldn't have given me that you know that fluff you know that luxurious look i was going for so that is a very huge secret if you love like your comforter to look really really full and fluffy all right you guys so of course you know you can never have a luxurious bedroom a luxurious bed without putting some decorative um pillows so that is exactly what i'm doing here i'm adding up this black weight this white with black strap um pillows and also i'm gonna go ahead and add this checker pillow and ah i really loved how everything kept to came together like all these things of course you guys already know anything you see in my bedroom is going to be linked in my description box the pillows the comforter everything i purchased from amazon so definitely try and check my description box because i'm going to link everything but yeah i'm just that kind of person that i absolutely enjoy making my bed and also kind of switching it up once in a while you know maybe once a month i just try to look for different teams you know for our bedroom and this one right here this checker team i believe is like the best so far I've, i i do pink i do yellow i do orange i do black i do white i do like colors in our bedroom in my home not just my bedroom but i believe this checker um you know this checker team right here is my absolute favorite because like it's just the the the, the blanket and two pillows but you guys can see how much like i don't know if i should say color like neutral color it just added to that bed which made it look so 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 nice once i'm done with the bed i'm gonna go ahead and just add up this black um vase you know this black flower vase by the side of the bed and then move on to the the wing back chair as you guys can see i actually cleaned this wing back chair i believe yesterday i didn't film that one but yeah once it was dry i just added it to that nook right there and then i added my plants like i said everything you guys see my video see in my videos are always linked in my description box so if you're into rested in that chair in the in the plants anything guys and then of course i'm gonna go ahead and add up my blankets on top of my decorative blanket on top of the wing back chair and then once i'm done with that i'm gonna add some decorative pillows and then i'm gonna you know i'm gonna just um freshen up or decorate the console table in our bedroom and that is basically it you guys like i just i fine i was like ah oh, by the time i was done with this i was like ah oh, finally thank god because i've been procrastinating i was like okay since november last year i kept saying look i'm gonna do it this month i'm gonna do it this month and then it's march already but thankfully i was able to film it for you guys so if you have all those um if you have rocks you know probably if you're a mom if you have kids if you have pets and your rocks are like unbelievably dirty try as much as possible to pick this um the hover machine it's actually very very inexpensive i believe it's less than hundred dollars or 150 dollars but it does an amazing job with your rug it literally brings your rugs back to life all right so before i ended i noticed that you know my bed as you guys can see the frame has i don't know where the dirt is from but of course i can never i can't pass it like i can't 
I can't pass this death from Ace. It's probably Ace. He probably used his dirty hand to, you know, to press on the bed frame or something. But thankfully, I have all my gadgets. So I put up my bezel. Is it bezel or bezel or whatever? I put this one off. This is like a hand vacuum that you can use to, you know, remove like spots. You know, it's like a spot treatment machine. So as you guys can see, I mixed up my cleaning detergent and then I just sprayed it on it and I was able to get out all you know the dead like while i was scrubbing i now saw few so i went ahead and just cleaned the the bed you know the bed frame and that is basically it you guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video i will see you all very very soon bye It never hit you, our conversation takes two